Hey guys, Martin here for Mattress Clarity. If you're looking for an affordable memory foam hybrid mattress, you've come to the right video. Today we're talking about the Sweet Night Twilight Mattress. We're gonna take a look at its construction, my experience with it, who it's a good fit for and who it's not a good fit for. Let's get started. First off, you want to see a list of our top picks for mattresses, head over to mattressclarity.com. There you're going to find some other reviews on mattresses, bedding, and pillows, and some great discounts on mattresses like the Sweet Night. You'll also find some great coupons in the YouTube description below. So the Sweet Night comes from the Sweet Night Mattress Company. They offer some great affordable and high quality mattresses. Right now they have three hybrid models and two memory foam models. The Twilight here is one of their hybrid models. Features some portive coils, some high density foams, and some great cooling features as well. It also comes in two heights, 10 inches and 12 inches. We're taking a look at the 10 inch model today. How does it all work? Let's find out right now. So now let's take a look at the construction of the Sweet Night Mattress. First off, it comes in two heights. We have the 10 inch version here. There's also a 12 inch version. But starting off on top and working our way down, first up on top, we have a knit fabric, very soft and breathable as well. It is tufted and quilted with some soft foam, so kind of creates a pillow top look and feel right on top of the mattress. Below that, you have airflow high density foam, gonna add a little bounce to the top of the mattress. Below that, a layer of gel memory foam. Finally, moving down to the support layer, you have pocketed coils. So what does all this mean? Well, first off, speaking of cooling, you do have a breathable cover, you have gel infusions, coils for airflow, so shouldn't be trapping too much heat. And speaking of durability though, it is a more value mattress. You're gonna have some coils here, some nice foams on top, but overall might last for between five and seven years. So now let's talk about firmness and feel. In terms of firmness, I thought this mattress was close to a seven and a half out of 10, definitely firmer than average. You can see on top some very soft layers right on top here, but firmer right beneath that. Again, this is the 10 inch model. The 12 inch model will definitely be softer. Now, speaking of feel, overall more of a responsive hybrid feel. You get a little bit of that pillow top feel right on top as well. So very easy to move around on this mattress. But to further test out the bounce with the Sweet Night mattress, got our ball here. Look at that, some really good bounce on this mattress. Very responsive overall. You got coils and more responsive materials overall. So again, easy to move around. So now let's talk about how you feel in different sleeping positions on the Sweet Night mattress. Starting off my back, a very good match for me. My hips sink in the right amount, good lumbar support and good overall support. I do wanna note though that I am a larger person, I'm 250 pounds. If you weigh less than me, this mattress might feel a little bit too firm to you. Moving to my side though, definitely too firm for me as a side sleeper, some serious pressure on my shoulders and my hips. But moving to my stomach, enough support under my hips, I'm not blowing in and I'm not getting out of alignment. Here at Mattress Clear, we like to mix subjective opinion with objective tests. And one of those tests is the pressure map. So I lie down on my back side and stomach. You see anywhere from blue for no pressure, all the way up to red for high pressure. Now pay close attention to my side sleeping results specifically on my shoulders and my hips. Let's get started. If you sleep with a partner, you also wanna think about motion transfer. Basically, if you're lying down on one side of the mattress and your partner moves around on the other side, are you gonna feel that motion or not? Now, to test out the motion transfer on the Sweet Night mattress, place a glass of water here in the center, push all the areas around it. The water is disturbed a little bit, even though this mattress does feature memory foam in the top layer, so not cutting down on too much of that motion here right on top of the mattress. Then to further test out the motion transfer in this mattress, I laid down on one side, Tanner moved around on the other side. He changed positions, he got in and out of bed. I felt some of his movements transferred to my side of the mattress. So overall, not the best handling of motion transfer. If you sleep with a partner or you like sleeping towards the edge of the mattress, you also wanna think about edge support. Basically, if you're sitting down or lying down near the edge of a mattress, do you feel secure or more like you're gonna roll off and onto the floor? So here I'm sitting down near the edge of the Sweet Night. Actually not collapsing too much under my weight. I definitely feel secure in this position. I could lean over and tie my shoes. Now lying down on this mattress, I'm lying very close to the edge. I'm rolling around, not collapsing too much under my weight here as well. So overall, some pretty decent edge support. 
So now let's talk about the pros, or who I think this mattress might be a good fit for. First off, I think it's a good option for stomach sleepers. It's definitely firmer than average. You should feel enough support under your hips. You shouldn't bow in there and you shouldn't get out of alignments. Now, also it's a good option if you want more of a responsive mattress. This is a bouncy mattress overall, so easy to move around. You shouldn't feel stuck. And last but not least, speaking of price, for the 10 inch and the 12 inch model for a queen size, under $500, a very good deal for what you're getting. Also a good affordable option. And now let's talk about the cons of who I think this mattress might not be the best fit for. First off, I don't think it's the best option for side sleepers, particularly the 10 inch model here. If you're a side sleeper, take a look at the 12 inch model or a different mattress altogether. Also speaking of feel, if you like more of that slow moving memory foam feel, you don't really get that with the Sweet Night Twilight mattress. It's more responsive overall. So if you wanna lie down in your mattress and slowly sink in, I'd probably look elsewhere. And last but not least, if you're looking for more of a durable high-end mattress, not really what you get with the Sweet Night mattress. Very nice for what you're getting, but more of a value mattress overall. So if you're taking a look at the Sweet Night mattress, you might wanna know how it compares to one of its major competitors, the Casper. Let's do that right now. So first off, looking at the construction, there are some differences, namely in the base layers. With the Casper mattress, you have foam. Over in the Sweet Night mattress, you're going to have pocketed coils. Also, the Casper features zoning, the Sweet Night mattress does not. Now, speaking of feel, slightly different as well. So with the Sweet Night mattress, more of a kind of bouncy hybrid feel. With the Casper, more of a balanced foam feel. Now, speaking of firmness as well, the Casper is going to be softer than the Sweet Night. And speaking of price, the Sweet Night does cost less than the Casper. So who should get one and who should get the other? In terms of who should get the Sweet Night, I think a better option for stomach sleepers and those who want to save some money on their mattress. The Casper is a better option, I think, for back and side sleepers and those who want something a little bit more advanced. So the Sweet Night is a bed-in-a-box mattress. It's going to come to your house in a cardboard box. How do you unbox it? Well, it's easy to follow these instructions. First off, ask a friend for help. These boxes can be quite heavy. You don't want to hurt or strain yourself. Then bring that box inside and into your bedroom. Open up the top of the box and take out your rolled up mattress. Place it on your framer foundation and slowly carefully cut through the layers of plastic. You don't want to damage your brand new mattress. Then give it about 24 to 40 hours to completely off gas and expand and you're good to go. So now I have to give you some additional information about the Sweet Night mattress. First off, it comes with free shipping and returns, a 100 night sleep trial, a 10 year warranty. They offer other mattress models, accessories and financing as well. Now, if you are interested in purchasing this mattress, head over to mattressclarity.com for the best coupons. So now let's answer some frequently asked questions about the Sweet Night mattress. The first question is, is the Sweet Night a good mattress? And the short answer is yes, this is a good mattress. Has some very nice materials in it, supportive coils, nice materials right on top, some good cooling features, and also it's a good affordable option. But if you want something on the soft end, you want something a little bit more durable and higher end, I'd probably look elsewhere. The second question is how long will the Sweet Night mattress last? Now, taking a look at its construction, its materials, it is a nice mattress, but again, more on the value side. So probably gonna last between five and seven years. And the last question is, can you flip the Sweet Night mattress? And the answer is no, you cannot flip this mattress. It's only designed to lie one way, with the base layer on the bottom, the comfort layers on top of that, and right on top, the cover. In the end, I think the Sweet Night Twilight mattress is a great option if you want something more affordable, you're a stomach sleeper, or you like something more responsive. Well, that's about it. If you're just getting started looking for a mattress or bedding, head over to mattressclary.com. We also do a lot of videos just like this. Hit the like button and subscribe.